Don Purrier is a stone cutter, and for almost 40 years he's been working with granite, taking huge blank blocks and turning them into cemetery monuments. For the last 25 years, he's been at Kent Clark Monuments in Springfield. Purrier is an artisan practicing a skill that takes years to learn. Uh, to do it right, it, it takes a tremendous amount of uh, learning. As I say, I've been in it uh, close to 40 years, and I don't claim to know it all yet. It's While some of the tools of the stone cutter are modern, many of the procedures have been the same for years. The first step is design, drawing the layout for the finished product. A rubberized stencil is placed on the stone with a design transferred to it. And from there you start with a, a knife and actually cut out the flowers and so on. The, the letters are stamped out in most cases with a machine that we have now, which is more or less modern that we used to have to do by hand also. From there, the monument goes to a special chamber where a concentrated abrasive spray is blasted at the rock under 100 pounds of pressure. This abrasive material will rebound off this rubberized material, but eat into the stone any place that we uncover the stone. And we can get any depth that we want because it will continue to cut as long as it's sandblasting against the stone. More and more people are buying monuments before they're needed and adding individual touches. And Don Perrier thinks that's good. For him, each job is a special project. And it's extremely interesting to take an old piece of of granite that looks like nothing and turning it into a beautiful monument. And, and you know it's going to stay there through the generations. Perrier believes a monument should be as personalized as possible. And he puts his personal skill into each one he makes. 